Hi everyone. It is December 24, 2017. My California subscribers, I need to hear from you about what is taking place with your Thomas fire. What is going on with these fires? I am still unable to get updated news except for, well, many Thomas firefighters spending first Christmas battling wildfire. This is ABC, a local ABC uh, news website and well what I'm hearing or what I'm reading is um, it's 70 percent contained but there is still more than 2,000 firefighters working the blaze and this is an ABC thank you to those firefighters go on YouTube and I filtered it, I put in last hour, and still unable to find any any updated information. What what is why am I in here? Response to Judy Woods. I put in California fires. Alright. Um and that was for the last hour, and I'm in there? What the hell is going on? Okay. Now I get what? Good news? The big picture? What is this search result on YouTube? Amazon unused cars. California fires. All right. Um, what I am, what I did get right before, well, that search went rather askew. I'm getting YouTubers posting old videos, but they're posting it today. And there is no indication from the person that it's an old video. So that kind of irritates me. So having listened to a little bit of that, I realized, okay, that's not from today. Having listened to a little bit of this posted on the 23rd, it's not from today. And by the way, will you look at this? Really? Is this all the smoke? doesn't it just everything is so surreal today but again same channel posting today wildfire out of control caused a lot of destruction and you know uh, what what upset me was I saw this posted today and I'm listening to this and I'm thinking holy crap has the fire again become out of control because I did try to find articles posted on these fires and I'm not finding any information about what's happening with this fire. So this one posted today, again, again, it is not from today. So I need to hear from you guys. I want to hear what is going on. Mainstream media, what do I find? Christmas, wildfires, how climate change puts California at risk all year round. Climate change, climate change, NPR, uh, ABC, CNN, The Independent in the UK, talking about this fire. They're not talking about what is happening right now. They're just talking about how it's climate change. Yes, that lie. And all one has to do is do just a little bit of research and then we'll find out that this whole global warming, climate change thing, hysteria coming out of mainstream media, hysteria coming out of Jerry Brown's mouth and all of our quote-unquote leaders, it's an abject lie. My God, how many, how many of us have been posting giving the facts, giving the evidence. And still, I don't I don't get it. I guess people just love 
you know, it, it's just easy to accept lies. They don't have to do anything. They don't have to change. They don't have to uh, turn off their TVs and become responsible adults. They do not, they can continue living as children. Yes, I'm pissed because we all have to suffer the consequences of the majority's behavior. So this Christmas Eve fire, a home in San Diego, in San Diego, caught on fire, but listen to this. Listen to what is posted in this article. All right, one person was killed. Another was injured in an early morning fire in Mira Mesa, San Diego. It started at about 4.20 a.m. And this is what they're writing. The responding firefighters encountered multiple challenges that hindered their efforts to extinguish the inferno. A front door and several windows were board, boarded up, boarded up, but there were people in, in the home. One person was killed, another injured. Four residents managed to escape the blaze. And another person inside was unable to escape. So why did they board up their front door and several windows? And personal items inside the home made it difficult for firefighters to get inside. Construction modifications to the home, including large rooms that were converted into multiple smaller rooms, as well as embers that began threatening neighboring homes caused further difficulties for firefighters. Does that sound does that sound kind of strange to you? It does to me. Okay, so larger rooms were converted into smaller rooms and that made it difficult for firefighters. The embers that began threatening neighboring homes. Well, we have embers from fires, but it, it's kind of like I'm reading things that I've never read before in terms of fires. So I guess the embers, maybe they had high winds and they were flying all over the place and they had to put out the embers in the neighboring home so they couldn't, so they couldn't put out the fire in this home. Personal items in the home made it difficult. Everybody has personal items in their home. There are homes where larger rooms are converted into smaller rooms, and that does not create a challenge for firefighters. I think, I think what I'm reading is information that is hinting at changes to homes coming your way out in California. There'll be more regulations coming your way. And this, ready? New laws coming to California roads in 2018 new laws coming to California roads? No, new laws coming to Californians that is going to make driving more expensive for you guys. It's just around the corner. The state of California Department of Motor Vehicles has released new laws that take effect in the new year. The laws address multiple issues and will cost drivers more to operate their vehicles. One of the rules that is changing is the road maintenance and rehabilitation program. The program adds a fee to registration. So depending on the market value of your vehicle, 
you will be paying an additional $25 to $175 to get your car registered. And new laws prohibiting the smoking or ingestion, ingestion of marijuana while driving or riding as a passenger. So, don't eat your marijuana cookies while you are riding as a passenger in a vehicle. Otherwise, the state is going to come down upon you. Passengers on buses that have seatbelts will also be required by law to be properly restrained. That begins July 1. And another law that's changing is a law that requires drivers to pay parking penalties before renewing registration or being used or being issued, I'm sorry, a driver's license. And I remember on my original Kafka Winston World, I posted a video how Californians were unable to get their driver licenses renewed because parking fines that they had that some didn't even know that they had they found out when they went to the Motor Vehicle Bureau to renew their driver's license and because they had not paid that parking fine for such a long time they were hit with so many fees that it became so expensive and many people were unable to 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 pay so they couldn't get a driver's license these laws are crippling people. So you have that law, you can't pay your parking fines because of the additional fees because you didn't pay it on time. And then what? They won't let you renew your driver's license, which you need to get to work. So you see how they trap you? They trap you in a circumstance that is very difficult to get out of. So if you can't go to work, you can't pay those fines, and then you can't get the driver's license. We've got so many laws that do this, that literally trap people. You don't have to be thrown in jail to be put in jail. Uh, effectively, when you live in a, a, a police state, and when you live in a country where law enforcement want their money for everything, everything that you do. God, I cannot stand how Americans are just consenting to all of this. You don't have to say I or yay. You don't have to verbally say, I consent. You can just sit back, do nothing, and your nothing action, your silence, amounts to consent. But I thought this article was interesting. And this was posted just yesterday. Get paid up to $80,000 to move to struggling towns. Cash grants, student loan payoffs, and free land are offered as incentives to revitalize rural communities across the United States. Towns in rural America are attempting to revitalize their communities by offering incentives to people to move to the countryside. In 2010, 19% of people resided in rural America a stark contrast to 54% that lived in small communities in 1910. A few surprising cities and even states also say they will help you pay off homes and financial obligations if you agree to live in their communities. So rural America is losing an awful lot. Why? Because there's a deliberate plan to get people to move into the mega regions, into the cities where they can have more control over the population. So 
when you, behind the curtain, have these hidden agendas and you have specific regions in the company, in the country, in the company, company actually, that was a, that was a correct Freudian slip. It is a company. <laughs> Our government is incorporated, okay, but when you have these deliberate plans to reshape the economy, have specific regions that offer employment opportunities, you get people to leave rural America and go to that region. And clearly, it has worked. According to USA Today, rural America encompasses, encompasses, wow, 75% of the country, but only 16% of its population, the lowest in the nation's history. So perhaps these towns are, have their government officials that are not aware of Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, the reshaping of this country, and they want people to come back to their rural communities. Well, we'll see how, we'll see how effective they will be. So, yeah, please let me know what is going on with these fires. What's happening? This is so unbelievably frustrating. They're still going on. And you know, in these articles that I'm reading, I cannot believe I'm still reading the same information. It's the same information. It's the, the 270 some odd thousand acreage. It's, it's the thousand homes still But it is now the the largest the largest fire in California's history. All right, guys. I hope that you have a great day tomorrow. And uh, the links are below. But anybody who has any information, updated information, current information on these fires. Could you leave us that information in the comments section below? Thanks a lot.